okay guys so in this video i'll talk about file foundation okay so have you ever seen that in any type of multi-story or skyscraper the normal type of foundation that is used is looked something like this one and this is known as file foundation and before you know or i tell you what is foundation actually is the common question which normally arises to any common man that is how is it possible that just below the ground if it is the ground level you have constructed something that is in the range of 50 meter to 60 meter okay and above that you are able to construct something that is more than 800 meter how is it possible yes that is possible due to a very common natural problem that is friction okay and using this common natural thing that is friction how we have invented file this video will talk everything about that okay so if you are new to this channel please do subscribe because definitely in future you are going to be benefited and it's really means a lot to me okay so let's start today's topic that is file okay so what is actually file foundation is for especially for those who have no idea what is file actually is that is first we have to dig a hole simply dig a hole or technically you can say we have to bore the hole okay and then what we have to do we have to put down the cage or you can say this is the reinforcement here and it's in practical situation looks something like this one here you can see that this is the reinforcement for a pile of 30 meter okay and after lowering this cage or reinforcement within this hole we have to pour it okay with concrete here you can see and once the pouring is done or concreting is done it looks something like this one here and above it we have to construct the pile cap and or you can say that after the pile cap we can erect our building here so this is the story about pile foundation very basic thing now let's dive into the basic concept or how we can use the friction to construct multi-storied building or any skyscraper okay so the very basic thing that is friction okay so what is friction is actually simple thing if you have a rough surface okay it should not be smooth and you know that practically in real life each and every surface is rough surface okay even if you say that well i have a surface very smooth surface like this one and if you watch under any microscope you can see that surfaces actually have very very small undulation like this one okay so practically in real life all the surface are rough surface okay and above that rough surface if you kept any surface like this one that has also some rough surface like this okay and when they are static okay or at rest there is no problem it's everything is okay but as soon as you start to move any particular one let's say we have started to move this one okay so before starting of the movement what will happen you have to overcome this frictional force okay so basically what is happening here the surface of the upper body looks something like this okay and the surface of the lower body looks something like this and they have been interlocked with each other correct so to starting the movement of this upper body what you have to do you have to clear all this obstacle okay so definitely we can say that due to this friction there is a opposing energy at the opposite direction of the intended motion direction correct so if you are interested to Make sure that this upper body should move in this direction your friction should act in the left side okay now what are the factor upon which this frictional force actually depend on okay 
So the very first thing we can say that this opposing force or this resistance force is completely depend on the surface type. Okay, more is the roughness of the surface, more is the resisting force. Agree? And also we can say that if we look this in three dimension like this okay so this is the actually 3d picture let's say of the lower body okay so more is this surface area or you can say more is the contact area of this upper body with this lower one more is the resisting force okay so we can say that it depends also on the contact area okay so first thing that is it completely depends on the surface type more is the rough surface more is the resisting force and also it depends on the contact area more is the contact area more is the resisting force okay so this is the basic natural phenomena and let's see how we can use this for erecting any skyscraper okay so first here you can see this is the closer picture of any pile construction okay and here you can see that this is the borehole this is the borehole and this is the reinforcement or the cage okay and we have already placed the concrete in place okay so here you can see there are two surfaces first one is this soil surface here this is the soil surface and another is the concrete surface okay so we have two surface concrete surface and the soil surface now let's see how this uh, interface of these two different surface that is concrete surface and soil surface looks like okay so if we have a soil surface like this in microscopic view we can see the undulation or the roughness within the soil as well as if we see the pile surface there also we can see some undulation here you can see the undulation within the pile surface or the concrete surface okay so we have two different surface with undulation okay now let's try to move the pile towards downward okay so we are applying some force here okay at the top of this pile and this pile try to going down okay but before going down what it have to do it have to do it have to overcome all the resisting force that is offered by this friction between soil and pile okay so you can say that there is a resistance force coming at this interface and it is acting towards upward similarly at this phase also okay similarly at this location also and similarly at this location also so you can say that overall resultant force is acting towards upward okay so until you have overcome all this resisting force by this external load your pile is actually static okay it is actually static clear so this is the concept so more is the length of the pile more is the resisting force not only that more is the surface area or more is the diameter of the pile more is the resisting force okay so simply playing with the length of the pile and playing with the surface area of the pile we can increase this load carrying capacity that is force coming from any structure or building got it and here is the result in actual life yes if you are familiar with Burj Khalifa now the tallest structure uh, it has some file foundation which looks like this one okay here you can see that we have used multiple number of piles okay and also the length is in the range of 60 meter approximately 
okay and by using this 60 meter length pile and numerous number of pile we have been able to construct a structure that is that is height in the range of more than 850 meter and that looks something like this one okay so that's it